While many countries are known for their socioeconomic development, global health impacts, and huge infrastructural developments, a few stand out for rather absurd reasons. Through sex tourism, the Gambia has drawn attention to itself from all over the world. The Gambia has emerged as a favorite location for European women looking for sex with African toy boys, who are available since the 1990s. It all began when low-cost package tours were introduced to this small West African nation by international travel agencies based in the UK. The Gambia government has had enough of these British women after more than 30 years of accepting thousands of middle-aged women who came with the intention of engaging in sex tourism. The tiny African country is currently trying to change its image as a destination for sex tourism, and as such, the former British colony is trying to draw in quality tourists. With high unemployment rates and low wages in the Gambia, which has a population of 2.5 million, a relationship with a wealthy Western mature woman is seen as a financial opportunity for these young men. The Gambia is currently the most popular destination for European women traveling to Africa for sex. Retired British women in their 80s and other European women travel to the nation looking for young men to date or buy sex from. We refer to these men as bumpsters. How did they get here, though? Has Gambia consistently attracted lustful people to itself? Hello and welcome to Think Rich Media. In this video, we'll be looking at how Gambia became a sex hub for old British grannies. Buckle up, cause coming up ahead might be a few spoilers. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications in order to get notified on future uploads. Now, let's get into this. Brief Overview of Gambia Let's profile the country for you. You see, the Gambia, officially known as the Republic of the Gambia, has actually always been an economically and politically struggling nation. Gambia is located in the west of Africa, the rather fair side of the continent, but Gambia is a hustler's den. It is the smallest country within mainland Africa and is surrounded by Senegal, except for its western coast on the Atlantic Ocean. The Gambia is situated on both sides of the lower reaches of the Gambia River, the nation's namesake, which flows through the center of the Gambia and empties into the Atlantic Ocean and elucidates the long shape of the country. As of the 2021 census, it had a population of over 2.6 million people living in an area covering 11,300 square kilometers. The largest cities in the Gambia are Sarakunda and Perkama, while the capital and largest metropolitan area is Banjul. Since English is the Gambia's official language, it is utilized in both official and educational settings. Mandinka, Wolof, Fula, Sirur, Samink, Creole, Jola, and other native vernaculars are examples of additional languages. The geographic location of the nation contributes to the relative widespread knowledge of French, which is the official language of much of West Africa. The Gambia boasts a liberal, market-based economy, that is defined by a number of features, including low import duties, minimal administrative procedures, a fluctuating exchange rate without exchange controls, a significant tourism industry, and a history of relying on groundnuts for export earnings. At least, the tourism sector has seen its share of purposeful tourists who came to take in the beauty of the nation before it turned into a chance for European grandmothers to hang out with Gambian youth. Female Sex Tourism Explained to better understand the sex tourism industry in Gambia and how it grew so fast, it's worthwhile understanding what female sex tourism is all about. According to TourismTeacher.com, female sex tourism is when women travel to a destination where they engage in sexual activities with members of the local community. Generally speaking, female sex tourism is different from male sex tourism in that women frequently seek out more than just sex. Rather, women who go on sex tourism frequently seek out romantic and intimate relationships with local men. Compared to the male sex tourism industry, the female sex tourism industry is much smaller. The general public also knows less about female sex tourism. As a matter of fact, not many people are even aware of it. The Senegambia Strip, or the coastal region surrounding Kololi, is one of the most well-liked destinations for sex tourism in the Gambia. Visits are frequently arranged through neighborhood bumpsters. 
So sex tourism in the Gambia is primarily made up of a type of female sex tourists from Europe who typically are in search of romantic experiences and sex with Gambian bumpsters. Most of these grannies have had failed marriages or divorces in their home countries and seek to fill the gap that exists in their romantic lives. Who travels to Gambia for sex tourism? In the Gambia, Western women from Europe are usually the ones who go on sex tourism. Most of these women are over 40 and typically hail from the United Kingdom. Many of the women who come to the Gambia for sex tourism are seeking a little late-life romance after experiencing unhappy marriages back home. Some of these women spend a lot of money simply to draw the toy boys they want to themselves. Origin of sex tourism in Gambia Now based on this understanding, let's talk about how the sex tourism evolved in Gambia. Make no mistakes about it, the sex tourism industry has been alive and well for over the past 12 years. In fact, the Gambia has emerged as a favorite location for European women looking for sex with African toy boys who are available since the 1990s. You may be wondering where it all began. Well, it all started when budget package tours were introduced to this small West African nation by international travel agencies based in the UK. The former British colony is currently making an effort to dispel its reputation as a destination for sex tourism in this small African nation by luring in quality travelers. The government of the Gambia has focused on the country's wildlife and cultural attractions, which include two UNESCO World Heritage Sites and more than 300 species of tropical birds, in an attempt to increase quality tourism. Apparently, though, UK grannies are more into hard rocks than fluffy feathers. The Gambia is a major hub for sex tourism, and in recent years, tales of middle-aged Western women seeking one-night stands, vacation romances, and long-term relationships have made headlines. But it's often about more than just relationships, as episodes of Gambian love cheats, visa scams, and polygamy are all too common. What caused the boom in the Gambia sex industry? As you may be wondering, how did we end up here? How could a nation come to be known for such a notorious cause as the sex industry? But don't get too excited. Here are some facts about the main cause of Gambia's rise to prominence as a favorite destination for European grandmothers before passing judgment or making accusations. More than one-third of the 1.7 million people who call the Gambia home live below the $1.25 per day UN poverty line. The Gambia's sex tourism industry is primarily based on the cheap labor of young, unemployed Gambian men. The primary asset that many men own is their bodies. As a result, men will engage in tactical sex with older female tourists from the global north in order to use their bodies for consumption. It's critical to realize that sex tourism in the Gambia entails more than just exchanging cash for sex services in order to make sense of the sexual interactions that occur there. The terms transactional sex by Kempadu and tactical sex by Kabeza's aid in our understanding of sex tourism in the Gambia. Most Gambian men can be characterized as using tactical sex as a means of generating income, although some men and women would describe themselves as prostitutes in the Gambia, where there is a clear and evident transactional relationship between the tourist and the host. Gambian men use tactical sex to obtain economic exchanges with Western female tourists in order to obtain gifts, money, remittances, and perhaps marriage and a visa to migrate to Europe. In contrast to the female sex tourist who likely views the relationship as romantic in some way, the Gambian man views their engagement in sexual economies as a form of labor that provides them with an income. They frequently take great pride in the fact that they work for themselves and their families as independent contractors. Beyond their short-term goal of gaining financial resources, the young Gambian men's long-term objective is frequently to obtain sponsorship for a visa, which will allow them to travel to Europe in pursuit of a better life. The Role of Gambian Young Men in Gambia's The Sex Tourism You may believe that the grannies are the only thing that have any bearing on this whole thing. However, you're not correct. In the Gambia, young men have a proverb that goes, if you are strong, you can jump on any woman, and age is just a number. Whereas the women are in it for the romance and love, the Gambian men who date these grannies are only interested in meeting their financial obligations. 
and with a mutual interest, that's what makes it a business. Nevertheless, you have to admit that the Gambian men make a significant contribution to the nation's tourism sector through this activity. Gambian men who participate in the effective sexual economies of tourism are frequently observed searching the beach for possible romantic partners. Some work as taxi drivers as well, and they frequently wait by the beach to pick up potential tourists who need rides. In an attempt to establish a possible romantic relationship, Gambian men and women visit the numerous eateries, pubs, and nightclubs in the Kololi Beach area, a destination for tourists. These men are frequently referred to as bumsters by the Gambian state, who views them as a nuisance because they are allegedly just bothering tourists. This results in a bad set of interactions between guests and hosts. Due to this, the state begins to act very aggressively against Gambians who are involved in the sexual economy. They are arbitrarily arrested, placed in labor camps, and have their dreadlocks shaved off by the military. These men, however, are actors and agents of the Gambia's tourism industry, not a nuisance harassing tourists. The men serve visitors who come to the nation with specific needs in mind. They have a positive economic impact on tourism and make significant contributions to the tourism industry. The government's role in the Gambia sex industry. The Gambian government says it is making a lot of effort to alter the perception of sex tourism in the Gambia. It's unclear exactly what they are doing though to overcome this reputation. The Gambia is comparable to sex tourism in Thailand or Jamaica, according to trossomteacher.com, but the authorities do not want this to be the case. It appears that the government has its work cut out for it, especially considering the other challenges that the Gambia's tourism sector is currently facing. To say the least, Gambia's sex tourism industry is one of the most contributing factors to her economy at present. Inasmuch as the government strives to curb down, or at best put a halt to activities of both tourists and locals on the subject matter, it is difficult to make accurate guesses as to if this will fully come to an end. Nevertheless, the Gambia is a beautiful country with a lot more to offer visiting tourists than sex in street corner. That brings us to the end of this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And also, if you did enjoy this video, please do well to like and also turn on post notifications in order not to miss our next uploads.